जय श्री राम दिस इज अ कंपाइलेशन अबाउट स्टूपिड पीपल एंड द लॉस ऑफ स्टूपिडिटी एंड सम बेसिक ट्रूथ्स अबाउट स्टूपिडिटी एंड स्टूपिड पीपल बिकॉज आई हैव नोटिस दैट वी आर फ्लडेड देर आर सिंपली टू मेनी स्टूपिड पीपल इन सर्कुलेशन दिस डेज हैं एंड सो यू आर सराउंडेड बाय स्टूपिड पीपल एवरीवेयर एंड अनलेस यू नो Uh, how to deal with these stupid people you will become stupid yourself so i've uh, created lots of phrases which you can use some of them might be funny and some may not be nevertheless let's begin this uh, wonderful journey of discovery of the laws of stupidity yeah? and uh, another law which i think uh, is relevant you see the preservation of stupidity the law of preservation of stupidity people will do everything to ensure that they remain stupid okay and i have also realized that if i directly criticize anything i can be uh, you know taken to the courts uh, cases can be filed against me so uh, stupid people are extremely dangerous mind you uh, uh, see people who are basically criminal are actually much better because you know that he is a criminal he is likely to harm you but stupid people have one great quality they do not get any benefit out of their stupidity but they will make sure that everybody loses eh? the whole society loses and suffers in many as many ways as possible though of course stupid people don't calculate all that they make sure that they cause the maximum eh, harm the maximum kind of you know loss to everyone especially to people who they are close uh, closely moving along with and then of course it uh, it has a ripple effect stupidity has a uh, national level effect international level effect when stupid people get into power they have tremendous capacity for impacting the whole world with their amazing stupidities okay now let's see i'll just run you through my observations So first one is stupid people are everywhere. These are some basic truths about stupid people. Be careful, and it's very difficult to identify them because stupidity is independent of any other characteristic. You see, the person might be well dressed, he can speak good English, he might be successful in a profession, eh? and they may. They, this is what is called the halo effect. You see, when you see one nice thing about somebody, you tend to think that every everything about them. is good and wonderful and that person might be a very nice role model blah 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 but there there lies the rub stupidity is a very interesting characteristic you see and it is independent of any other characteristic deep down these people are extremely stupid <laughs> because these stupid people are subscribed to stupid religions and they worship stupid gods because these stupid gods demand all kinds of stupid things and these people spend all their time and resources uh, offering these stupid things to those stupid gods so this is how it goes on and if you say anything directly they can file uh, 295a 153a and so many other sections in the indian penal code yeah to drag you to the courts and harass you for speaking the truth which interestingly is our national motto satyam eva jayate and you have freedom of expression all these wonderful things are there but stupid people are so powerful that you need to be very careful so you cannot identify stupid people easily yeah and then and the most dangerous type of people like i already told you are stupid people for the simple reason that you see they don't get any benefit out of their stupidity but they make sure that everyone loses in the bargain really intelligent people are those who benefit from everything they do and the whole of society benefits from these people criminals are as you know they benefit and make sure that everyone loses that is their uh, their approach is win lose stupid people use the approach lose lose so everyone loses so be careful uh, make sure that you never gang up uh, hobnob rub shoulders with stupid people because stupidity is very infectious okay so they gain nothing but cause losses to everyone and they are time vampires vampires and resource wasters and resource vampires so they might argue you see and they are very good at arguing stupid people have a tremendous capacity for sophistry 
एस ओ पी एच आई एस डी आर वाई कैजुस्ट्री सी ए एस यू आई एस टी आर वाई स्पीशियस आर्ग्यूमेंट एस पी ई सी आई ओ यू एस विच मीन्स फॉल्स बट कन्विंसिंग रीजनिंग सो आई विल ट्राई टू गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल विच रिक्वायर्स अ लिटल खरेज एनी वे बट आई डू दैट सो स्टूपिड पीपल आर दोज हु फुट लॉड ऑफ मनी इन टू द फॉर एग्जाम्पल हुडीज इन द टेम्पल इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट वी नो ओवर द सेवेंटी ईयर्स हिंदू टेम्पल्स आर कंप्लीटली अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ द यू नो गवर्नमेंट एंडाउमेंट बोर्ड एंड ऑल दैट एंड द बोर्ड्स ऑफ टेम्पल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल टी टी डी इज पॉपुलेटेड विद नॉन हिंदूज सो हु हु आर नॉट डिवोटेड टू द लॉर्ड देयर वेंकटेशा एंड बट दे आर सिटिंग एंड टेकिंग जजमेंट्स एंड यू कैन सी वेयर यू कैन नॉट इवन नो वेयर द मनी इज गोइंग सो फॉर द लास्ट सेवेंटी ईयर्स दे हैव बीन लूटिंग द गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन लूटिंग एंड इज द मनी बींग यूटिलाइज फॉर एनी इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ हिंदू सोसाइटी नो जिल्च जेड आई एल सी एच नो भगवद गीता इंस्टीट्यूट नथिंग एट ऑल You won't even get accommodation. Tirupati is the richest temple in the whole world. Actually, free accommodation, free food should be can be easily given if the temple authority is handed over to some Shankara Acharya. There are so many Hindu leaders here. We can appoint a cabinet. We can appoint a you know body to examine whether they are doing it impartially, right? But it should be handed over. But uh, so Tirupati can give you, but uh, you will find accommodation is not available, water not available, food is not available. It's all terrible. terrible mismanagement it's still going on and stupid hindus go and put money in the hind- uh, hundi and uh, stupid hindus are also going to all kinds of tombs and graves and uh, running after babas who have long hairs some have no hair and this is how stupidity is ruining our society stupidity is the bane of hindu society anyway so in in the other uh, cults you see the stupid people are well organized actually so they are ensuring that their stupidity is wreaking havoc on the non stupid people so non stupid people have another disadvantage they always underestimate the destructive power of stupid people there are many non stupid people in the country who think it's all right it's after all their freedom this is the problem with non stupid people non stupid people always underestimate the destructive power of stupid people this is another interesting observation and stupid people always think that they are very very intelligent and arguing with them can be very psychologically draining because they are not going to come down from the high horse and uh, they will beat you with experience stupid people in large numbers are extremely dangerous so whenever you see large crowds of stupid people just leave you never know when there can be a stampede uh, i don't have to give you examples there can be a stampede and people can die children can die uh, all kinds of disgusting criminal uh, you know things can happen so sup- stupid people subscribe to all kinds of desert cults they worship graves and tombs and weird babas and all kinds of superstitions stupid people love superstitions any new superstition they'll be the first takers okay and they don't know what they don't know that's another problem with them absolute certainty and total confidence is a sure sign of stupidity if you are truly adhyatmik vedantik or scientific you will always be skeptical about everything but if you are a bhakta you will still have devotion but you will not have any such thing as absolute confidence absolute certainty is the sure sign of complete stupidity okay so these are some laws now i have just coined some phrases you will enjoy listening to them okay first one on the left hand side you see doltish dipshits doltish some of these phrases which i have coined don't really mean anything but some of them can be used uh, well you can use them because they are harmless nobody can take you to the court with this okay so nobody can file uh, 295 153a and all that that's not possible because uh, because these words are basically harmless and i put them together because they are funny sounding some of the phrases yes i int- i intend to indicate something there uh, i don't want to give too many descriptions i leave it to your imagination to understand so now i'm just going to read out those phrases which i've scribbled all over this papers okay doltish dipshits scatterbrained segregationists ah these are politicians you see who will try to try to divide us you know on the basis of caste lines and all that caste doesn't exist in hinduism repeatedly i'm shouting but people still use the word caste 
in hinduism we have kula gotra jati and varna so i have discussed these things in other audios okay other videos or whatever so uh, divide and rule policy all people who indulge in this divide and rule policy you can hit them with this phrase scatterbrained segregationists and then weary some whipper snappers you go to the right side a whipper snapper is a young person who is very very presumptuous who thinks who is very smart he knows everything and these pe these youngsters are very we- really weary some they will never listen to you some some may listen to you but actually they don't listen and then you have this no nothing no it alls no nothing no it alls uh, that is a self explanatory term go to the right side you can find feckless floozies feckless means incompetent careless uh, lazy unlikely to achieve any success in their life totally incompetent floozy is a promiscuous girl uh, a girl who is sort of you know Uh, loose character so i see these feckless floozies all over the place imitating the american fashions wearing torn jeans and god knows what else so uh, that's all right so it's their freedom they display their biology anatomy on the road and expect everyone to behave very nicely like gentlemen which is not going to happen because there are so many uh, malignant malicious walking on the roads so that's a new term i did not written write, write this here so bumbling blunderbusses bumbling means you know messing up things blunderbuss is a person who is always blundering so many of our you know people in charge bureaucrats uh, many people in organizations government organizations private organizations they're messing up everything they're causing so much havoc these are bumbling blunderbusses devoutful temple drones you are these are people you know i find in among hindus who say i visited this temple i visited all those shakti peetams i visited all these temples they go on running from temple to temple temple running you know ramkrishna paramhansa once said if you want to if you want water you must dig at one place you keep digging if you dig a little here a little there and little there you will never get water so i think i leave it to your imagination to understand okay you want to watch some you want to go see some beautiful temples please do that but don't make that a habit otherwise you will become a devout full temple drone dtd okay then uh, okay now i'm going to the left uh, phd in stupidity yeah people are all doing lot of people are doing phd in stupidity and then uh, on the yeah dimwitted jackasses and clueless jennies jenny is a female donkey you see love at first sight they say it's not love it is lust at first sight people fall in love yes they always fall have you ever seen anybody rising in love <laughs> hardly anybody rises in love so jennies and jackasses jackass is a male ass jenny is a female ass you can go to any college you will find a very handsome hunk you know uh, who is in love with some jackass and uh, with some jenny a horrible looking you know Uh, in my school days there was one female who unfortunately you know was uh, ridiculed with this uh, phrase uh, um, um, uh, what was that uh, a buffalo's ass struck by lightning or something like that <laughs> oh my god yeah so this was the phrase uh, well so jennies uh, poor there are some poor girls who don't have that beauty uh, so but they somehow latch on to a handsome hunk and then vice versa the very good looking girl uh, you will see he she is hanging around with a jackass why it's really difficult to understand so clueless jennies and uh, dimwitted jackasses are everywhere professional ignor- ignoramuses you will find a lot on youtube and they have huge number of followers these people claim to be rationalists and oh my god within 5 minutes uh, you will be sick because of the filth that they are spouting and they think it's rational and they will tell you about the constitution they'll say uh, we are defending that what do you call 51a uh, scientific temper develop a scientific temper spirit of inquiry humanism and reform they will write all these wonderful things there but uh, these people have no sense of spirituality unfortunately but uh, you know i personally like uh, honest criticism sensible criticism but uh, i find that there is no sensible criticism there for some reason these people are filled with filth and hatred and these are professional ignoramuses who are polluting the mind of many uh, vulnerable dimwits so idiotism is the biggest religion in fact idiotism or stupidism 
is the biggest religion because it unites people across the board. Okay, waterproofed wool gatherers. Wool gathering means daydreaming. Waterproofed wool gatherers also. Wimpish wobegons. Fatherless flibberty gibbets. Dissipated, dissipated dolicocephalics. Dolicocephalic means you know fat skull. The skull is too big uh, in proportion to the body. Dissipated dolicocephalics. I don't want to explain all these words because then it will take too much time. You will have to do some dictionary reading to get to know what I am trying to say. And mind you, stupid people can be highly literate but not educated anyway. So, whimsical whippoor wills. Whippoor wills are a kind of bird. They are birds. Uh, night jays actually. Fissiparous featherweights. Okay, dim-witted goofballs. Kooky calancos. Calancos are a type of cactus plant. Kooky means weird. Kooky calancos. Uh, graceless goombas. Unenlightened unicorns, bone headed nincompoops, hundi hoverers, hundi hoverers. They will be hovering over the hundi and putting a lot of stuff into the hundi, like I told you already. Wacky waffle stompers. Waffle stompers are shoes with a big base, you know, uh, which looks like a waffle. Wacky is weird. Wacky waffle stompers. Tacky rhythmic TV fodder. Tachyarrhythmic. Tachyarrhythmia is, you know, rapid heartbeat. TV fodder is the crap that you receive from the TV. Uh, lots of, you know, soap operas and, you know, all kinds of programs, 200 plus channels. And people are lapping up all the TV fodder, sitting in front of the TV, uh, couch potato, eating all the fodder that they are giving them. And their hearts are rapidly beating because they, they don't want to miss even a single episode. I call them... Tacky arrhythmic TV fodder. Tacky arrhythmic TV fodder. Okay. Goosey dingleberries, pudding headed dorks, duffers, annoying duffers, feeble minded flunkies. A flunky is a servile follower, chamcha. Feeble minded flunkies, goofy vastu freaks. That I leave it to you. It's a very simple thing. And then let's see in my next page. Stupid people. I've written some more. Sub semi submersible pacifists. Peace faking neuroblastomas. I'll run it down from the left side. Thunder stricken trichomonocytes. Uh, trichomonocytes, they kill trichoma. So, thunder stricken trichomonocytes, grandiloquent god botherers, demagnetized desert rats, defeminized xylophonists, semi semi logarithmic slacktivist. A slacktivist is a half hearted activist. Transcutaneous tatterdemalians, semi transparent sub professionals, thermomagnetic. Oh, you can use that adjective for something. Eh? Thermomagnetic tatterdemalians. Okay, tatterdemalians are people who dress in you know uh, dirty clothing, you know, ragged torn clothing. Super ovulated scandal mongers, eh? uh, sulfurous withdrawalists. Super sanctimonious savages, pulchritudinous pathophysiologists, sentimental streptobacilli, turgy versating thromboplastins, uh, xylophagous parliamentarians, xylophagy means eating wood, defenestrated doppelgangers, and journosaurus. Journosaurus is a new term I have created, journalists who are like the dinosaurs. Saurus is the suffix. So, now, super sanctimonious. Now, I am going up from the right side. Uh, Hidebound hardliners, de-vitrified Neanderthals, polyunsaturated peaceniks, pyromagnetic <laughs> dodecahedrons, 12-faced, jitterbugging Jarnosaurus. Are you a jitterbugging Jarnosaurus? Jitterbug is a very fast American dance, you see, very energetic. Jaundiced Jarnosaurus. That's a nice term, I think. Scum filled Diffenbachia. Diffenbachia is a large leafed indoor plant. Scum filled Diffenbachia. It doesn't really mean much, but I think it's a useful uh, phrase to hit somebody with. Ultra conservative establishmentarians. These are the people who resist change. They love to live in their status quo, comfort zone. They are the most reactive people. Ultra conservative establishmentarians. Thanatological thermoreceptors. Thanatology is the study of death. 
departmentalized departmentalized proscription is proscription is banning slap dashery slap dashery specialists these are politicians and bureaucrats and people you know who are always uh, hurrying up and do things at the last minute and uh, spoil everything slap dashery specialist desexualized troglodytes troglodyte is a cave dweller now these days you know boys and uh, girls you can't really know who whether it's a boy or a girl unisexed the unisexed homo sapiens homo sapiens i would like to call them desexualized troglodytes lymphogranulomic lobbyists lymphogranuloma is a kind of cancer these are lobbyists you know who are pressure groups forcing government to pass laws or you know not pass laws which don't favor them so these are dangerous people these are the termites that are eating the nation lymphogranulomic lobbyists photo degradable non action non actionists photo degradable that means in the sunlight they will melt these are non actionists these are some people who don't do th- who think that you can sit on problems sympathomimetic shysters shyster is a crooked lawyer who will cheat the client or shysters are crooks generally sympathomimetic so they imitate the victim and victims mannerisms and pretend to be sympathetic but they actually end up looting that fellow sympathomimetic shysters bioluminescent bureaucrats <laughs> well, i have to laugh at that so uh, because i didn't want to use a strong word otherwise some fellow will pull me to the court so bureaucrats are bioluminescent bureaucrats like some deep sea animals you know uh, ray ray fish and all that asal horizontologist it simply means a person who is lazy is always lying down asal horizontologist you can ask people are you an asal horizon- horizontologist practice using this word and desensitized destructionists these are people who want to reform but they have no agenda they don't know how to reform they go about destroying useful traditions also masquerading as reformers there are many big people who i can't name anyway peace faking neuroblastomas peace faking neuroblastomas neuroblastoma is a cancer again peace faking these are cunning people who are talking about peace but actually supporting the worst kind of dash 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 so peace faking neuroblastomas so i leave it here i hope you, uh, you enjoyed listening to this uh, be careful anyway we are surrounded there are too many stupid people in circulation so these are some lots of stupidity be careful please don't get infected study the bhagavad gita hmm? that will prevent you from becoming stupid jashina peace